Why do some women feel threatened by other women and engage in social bullying? Are there any links to projection, lying or lack of self-worth? Do you have any tips on managing or tackling this type of antisocial behaviour? So, we're delving into the fascinating world of why some women feel threatened by others and engage in social bullying. It's a topic that can be quite complex, but let's explore the psychology behind it. First off, it's important to acknowledge that women, like any other group, are not a monolithic entity. Everyone's experiences, backgrounds and personalities are unique, so it's crucial to avoid generalisations. However, there are some psychological factors that can contribute to women feeling threatened by and socially bullying other women. One key factor is the societal pressure placed on women to conform to certain beauty standards, success expectations and social roles. This pressure creates a competitive atmosphere as women may feel that their worth is constantly being evaluated and judged. In this context, some women might resort to social bullying as a way to elevate their own status and feel more secure in comparison to others. In addition, feelings of insecurity and low self-esteem can play a significant role. When women struggle with their own self-worth, they may project their insecurities onto others. Socially bullying other women can be a misguided attempt to regain a sense of control or power, as it temporarily boosts their own self-esteem by putting others down. It's a coping mechanism rooted in their own internal struggles. Another factor to consider is the impact of societal expectations around gender roles and competition. Women are often pitted against each other in a variety of domains such as career success, relationships and appearance. This constant comparison can create a sense of scarcity where women feel they have to compete for limited resources or opportunities. This scarcity mindset can lead to social bullying as a means to protect one's own position and diminish potential threats. Furthermore, socialisation and cultural conditioning can influence how women perceive and interact with one another. Societal messages about female competition and the notion that women are each other's rivals can contribute to a hostile environment. This can be exacerbated by stereotypes and prejudices where women may feel the need to conform to these societal expectations or face the consequences. It's important to note that these factors are not excuses for social bullying, but rather insights into the underlying dynamics. Can you answer this question, please? What are some factors that can contribute to women feeling threatened by other women and then being socially bullied? Certainly. Here are some factors that can contribute to women feeling threatened by other women and then engaging in social bullying towards them. 1. Insecurity and low self-esteem. Women who struggle with their own self-worth may feel threatened by other women who they perceive as more attractive, successful or confident. In an attempt to boost their own self-esteem, they may resort to social bullying as a way to bring others down. 2. Societal beauty standards. Society often places a strong emphasis on physical appearance and women are frequently judged based on their looks. This pressure to meet unrealistic beauty standards can create a competitive environment where women may feel the need to socially bully others who they perceive as more attractive. 3. Competition for resources. In some cases, women may perceive resources such as job opportunities, romantic partners or social status as limited. This scarcity mindset can lead to a sense of competition among women where they may feel threatened by others who they perceive as potential rivals. In response, they may engage in social bullying to protect their own interests. 4. Cultural and social conditioning. Societal messages and stereotypes can influence how women perceive and interact with each other. For example, women may be socialised to believe that they should be in competition with each other for male attention or societal validation. These cultural and social norms can contribute to feelings of threat and the inclination to engage in social bullying. 5. Internalised sexism. Internalised sexism refers to the acceptance and internalisation of sexist beliefs and attitudes by women themselves. Women who have internalised these beliefs may view other women as competition and feel threatened by their success or confidence. This can manifest in social bullying as a way to assert dominance or reinforce gender norms. 6. Group dynamics and peer pressure. Within social groups, there can be pressure to conform to certain behaviours and attitudes. Women who feel the need to fit in or gain acceptance within a particular group 
may engage in social bullying towards other women in an attempt to align themselves with the group's norms or to establish their own social standing. 7. Past experiences. Negative experiences with other women such as betrayal, rejection or bullying can contribute to feelings of distrust and threat. These past experiences may lead some women to adopt a defensive stance and engage in social bullying as a means of self-protection.